Okay, let me switch the scene here and we'll see if this is working. Um, now, was it this scene that I did, I think? Um, was it this one? It was this one. Okay, there's that, and then I want to turn this on, and this should be. Oh, wait, no, not display kit. can kind of see what's going on here. Um, actually, I'll pull this over onto this side. Uh, eh, eh, put it here, make it a little smaller. Okay, and now when we run the game, I need to get that, so I need to get another window capture. Actually, I gotta run the game first. Okay, hopefully this works. Okay, there we go. You guys aren't seeing that yet, I gotta add that. There we go. All right. So now I just want to see something. If I close that, and then I want to see if I rerun the game, does it open that window again? It should. Yes. Yeah, you guys are seeing that, right? <laughs> okay, so now we're going to see if my controller is working, my controller is not working. Oh yeah, it's working. Heck yeah. Alright, so, what I did since we've, uh, since we've done a stream is I made a couple different levels. Um, so I got a little acceleration and a little deceleration, you can see it's a little bit slidey. Um, I got a wall jump thing going on. We got uh, ramps working. Ramps were actually super tricky, way trickier than I was expecting. And I got a little boost, a boost button. So if you hold, uh, was it Y on this controller, the speed increases. And I just made a couple of really basic curly levels. <laughs> yeah, inside out is so good. <laughs> Roses. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it looks very different. I've done a lot of uh, a lot of work on it. Heck yeah. It's like, do you quit your job? Quit your, oh, quit smoking. Got a promotion, new lady friend. Fuck yeah, dude. Good for you, man. Um, okay, so we also added spikes. So this one, the point of this level is to teach the. Uh, the uh, idea of this boost, where you have to boost to get through. Whoops, I fucked it up. And I want to make it so that the fart has to be under the guy's nose <laughs> to win. <laughs> uh, no pop. It, it, yeah, there'll be a pop sound and all that shit. Um, and there'll be the butt on every level too. I just have to change that. There is a bug where if you're right in the corner, you can't jump, so I have to fix that bug. Uh, oops. And it's still, the wall jumping stuff is still a little bit buggy, and I'm not sure why. It's just really tricky. Which maybe isn't a bad thing, but... Like, you have to jump and bend. Even that still So I gotta figure out what's going on with that. I, I don't really know why. Tricky as it should be. Can't be my own level. <laughs> Jamie, what's up, dude? No worries. Oh, yeah, and then the last thing I added was this floating turd object. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, but basically what that does is it gives you an extra jump in midair. So right now, if I'm in the air and I'm pressing jump again, it won't let me jump until I get back to the ground. Oh, also, I made a variable jump. So if you let go of the jump button, you have a small jump. And if you hold it, you get a big jump. But this one, if you go here, you hit that, then it gives you an extra jump. So that's what we got so far. So it's starting to come along. So. <laughs> okay, that's a good idea, Aspen. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Thanks, Steven. <laughs> 
it's working. It's like, it's all, it's working for good. Hey! Sentry, what's up, dude? You just got gifted this up. Good to see you, Sentry. <laughs> it makes game camp beat phone level. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you like the music? <laughs> the music's so stupid. The fucking flute. Oh, shit. So, anyway, so, there was a few things I wanted to do today. I was thinking maybe we could try and fix that jumping bug. Um, or just make some new levels. Kind of have some fun fucking around with that. So, um, oh yeah, but I wanted to, let's go to these rooms and add the butt into these rooms. So that every new level, you actually get farted out of the butt. Um, so let me open up these rooms and close that, close that. Heck yeah. Uh, you missed a little bit. We, um, we, there was a couple Lobster Boss changes, played a couple tunes, and then, uh, and then, yeah, no you, Sentry, no you. There is a raffle, yeah. I did? Did I want to do that, Morgan? I don't remember that one. <laughs> Hell yeah, everyone's fans of the Dan Man. The Dan Man himself. Is it Penny, Colleen? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I did make the music. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, okay, so let's put some butts in these levels here. So we'll get rid of that guy. And put a butt there, and put a butt in here. Okay, so good. Hell yeah, Stummer. <laughs> You're a damn man fan. Fuck yeah. It's time. All right, exclamation point raffle. Last second, get them in at the last second. Right, let me go back to the other scene here real quick, and let's open this up. Oop, nope, other one. There we go. Alrighty, you guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Salty Almond. Let's go, Salty Almond. Fuck yeah. Salty Almond, let us know if you're still here. You're planning my demise? Yeah, I imagine you are. <laughs> yeah, Salty Almond. Click that link. Let us know if it works. You should be able to fill out your mailing info and all that right on there. Let us know if it works or if it doesn't work. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Congrats, Salty Almond. All right, let's uh, go back to this scene. No more banjo. It was going to just be a, a game dev stream anyway, Diane, but we had such a hype uh, start that I had to play some banjo. Um, okay, so let's see. What was I thinking that we wanted to do? Where am I here? Uh, okay, we could look into that weird bug. I don't know why that's happening. Actually, I think I might know why that um, jumping bug is happening. For some reason, you can't jump if you're right in the middle of two, um, or if you're in the corner of two walls. So I think this might have been... Nope, it wasn't that. So where's my jumping stuff? Third wall is jump. Here we go. Allow jump. I'm not sure why that bug is happening. 
not on Garen. Oh, it's probably... It thinks that, yeah. Okay, actually, I think I might know why. Um, salty Almond, hell yeah, congrats. Fart game sounds good? Good, good. <laughs> the badger departs, you depart <laughs> too. Morgan, great to see you as always. Have a great day. Naomi, we'll see you again soon. Send me the gifts. Thank you, Capito. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Um, my lap? <laughs> yeah, it is actually. It's plugged in. Plugged in and charging. <laughs> Can't decide on the color? Oh, shit. Okay, let's leave that let's leave that bug for now. I can fix that off stream because that's like not fun to watch. Let's maybe just fuck around with some make some new levels. So let's do this. Let's um here, I'm gonna put some tunes on too. I'm listening to this uh do you guys know King Con the King Con and Barbecue show? Something like that. If anyone's on TikTok, you would have heard this song. This is like a huge TikTok song. But they're a really cool band. I'm gonna, skip that. I'm gonna turn this down so it's pretty quiet. Let me know how the level is. Yeah, Capito, can you send me those gifts? Uh, show last night was great, man. <laughs> Stuff. Hell yeah. Yeah, show the first two have been awesome, man. Um, should I stream again tonight? What do you guys think? Should I just do that now? From now on? Eblo, fuck yeah, six months, half a year. What's up, dude? Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Capito. <laughs> Relic, yes. Receive some new Dead South merch. Hell yeah, Colleen. Fuck yeah. Okay, let's. Um... Or we could also program some other.
to add back to the other sprite. So it just needs to go down one extra pixel. Okay. I messed up a little bit, that's okay. That's not super exciting, but it is shit you just gotta do. Just one shirt. Fuck yeah. Um, sorry, I think I stopped mid sentence there, Capito. Um, did I send you a, uh, like a confirmation number on that order? Because if so, um, if you email Streamlabs, um, they'll let you know what's up, or I can email them too if you like. And see if they can uh, see if they can send you that shit. Twelve shirts, holy shit, mug jacket, damn, that's a lot of dead cell merch. Appreciate that, you guys. And I am missing some chat. I'm sorry. This is so fucking stupid. His eyes start bleeding. Oh my god. You guys are all enablers. Okay, so... Just want to make sure the neck is in the same spot. Okay, that's good. I need to add... Um, this... There we go, that should do it. Oh yeah, and then I gotta do this again. Oops. Size it to 32, 32. Good. And then last one here. Actually, I wonder if I could just resize it to 32, 32, and it'll just get rid of the body automatically. Let's see. Boom. That was easy. Should have done that with all of them. It says it's stuck in Frankfurt. Jesus, that's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I drank too much Kool Aid. <laughs> uh, no, not right now, Aspen. Right now, there's just two. There's two animations that'll play at the end, and it just randomly selects one. So the first one is this one where he just goes ooh and he turns red. Whoops. Um, that's the first one, and then the second one is this one where his eyes start bleeding. <laughs> I don't fucking know why. Uh, and then this is the sniff animation here. <laughs> oh god. Alright, so now I need to go back to these rooms. And I need to make an asset layer so I can just add the art. What's the asset? This asset layer. Yeah. And that's where we're going to put the body. We don't actually need the body to animate, and I don't actually want him to collide with the body. I just want the uh, I want it to be under the nose to beat the level. So, uh, oopsies. Put his whole body in there.
Okay. I think we're ordering another one. <laughs> Easier than emailing and communicating, yeah, yeah. You like the old merch? Hell yeah. You want to hear a good fart noise? Here, I'll, I'll play you a good fart noise, Lisa. Here we go. There you go. <laughs> Alright, good. <laughs> Here comes another one. There you go. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so I basically want it to be, so instead of a collision, I just want it to be if he's underneath and you win the level. So let's change that program. Nice sound. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. There's, I think, how many, let me see how many fart sounds I recorded. I think there's four, maybe. Well, actually, there's a lot. There's ten. <laughs> Here's all the different fart sounds. You guys want to hear them? Let me just pause this for a sec. First one. <laughs> At the start of each level, it just picks a random one. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that one's not working. Here we go. That one's a flapper, loose flapper. <laughs> that one might be my favorite. Oh my god, I don't know if you guys find this shit as funny as that. <laughs> oh god. Another flapper. <laughs> so it picks one random sound at the start of each uh, level. <laughs> I think the double one is my favorite. Is it this one? <laughs> that one's good. <laughs> that one. <laughs> that one's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, don't just uh, just give in, give in to the dark side, Joe. <laughs> Dad's got names for them all. <laughs> Good, you're all children too. Good, I like it. All right, uh, I'll get the music going. Okay, so right now I have a wind condition. Here we go, wind condition. No, I do have a. Oh yeah, that's it. Okay, so instead of this, I just want to say if uh, let's see. So we're just gonna say if. So right now I have it so that if there's a collision, this place meeting checks for a collision. Basically, I'm saying if I collide with the target. It starts the, uh, takes away the control of the player, and then starts the sniffing animation, and then sends it to the next level when that's done. But I want to just check if it's if he's underneath. So, um, so I'm going to see if my Y position is. Greater than, let's see, greater than or equal to. No, that doesn't. If, actually I might just need to do this, if place me in. Okay, so now it's just going to check if there's, the guy is uh, one pixel above, one pixel above me. Let's see if that worked. It might just be as simple as that. Colleen, is it your birthday too? Happy birthday, Colleen. Hell yeah, birds are funny. <laughs> hell, even the face, hell yeah. Crift, have a great night. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is my game that I'm working on. I uh, got into game development. It was kind of like my COVID project was learning a little bit of programming and game development. I mean, obviously you guys know I love video games. I've always wanted to learn how to make them. 
And then I've made like this little puzzle game that's kind of fucked up and I wanted to release it, but I made some serious mistakes when I was designing it that make it kind of... I also want to fix this. I don't know why. The wall jumping is really weird. Um, but anyways, I showed... I had this fart game made a little bit. Um, and I showed it to people on stream and they were all like, yep, yeah, yeah, we want to see that, more of that. So, exactly, Lisa, exactly. No worries, Jamie. We'll see you in a bit, dude. Okay, so let's see. Now, if I go under the nose. No, still not triggering it, so. Let's try two pixels. Yeah, I love video games. And I really like programming. Like, I actually love programming. Like, it's one of those things, it's like music, like it's something I can sit there and just tinker away with for hours and hours and hours. Just lose all sense of like... <laughs> okay, so that's still cold. colliding. Um, okay, I don't want to do place meeting. I, don't think. I think there's a different function that I want. Um, Direction from a distance. Uh, let's see, how do we do this? I want to check if he's just below, if the fart's just below the nose, it triggers the wind condition. Uh, none of them are real. I made them all with my, uh, I made them all with my mouth. <laughs> I didn't want to ruin my microphone. <laughs> didn't he believe you, Laura? Going out with your dog, no worries. We'll see you in a bit, guy. <laughs> they sound real. <laughs> Good. Okay, let me think about I'm just trying to think of the logic. I want it to be just below, but I don't want to, excuse me, I don't want it to trigger, like, for example, if I was here, I don't want it to trigger. So I was thinking about writing some code that said, like, if the uh, X and Y are lined up, or sorry, if the X position is lined up, so the horizontal position is lined up, and then I'm below the nose to trigger the wind condition, but then that would also trigger it if I'm here. So we don't want to do that. Um, here, but what we could do is, um, collision, I think there's collision line. So let's try collision line. So, um, one sec, collision line. I gotta see how this function works. Collision line checks the line from point x1, y1 to x2, y2. Both objects for collision function. Okay, so. I might have to um, change how these sprites work, but let's just see. If, oh yeah, and I have to see what this returns. Does it return? Returns the instance ID. Okay, so. <clears throat> yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> he didn't believe you. <laughs> Brother fights are the worst. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> he drops it off, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so collision line. Oops. So it's gonna be my X and Y, and then wait, hold on a sec. How does this work? Um, no, I don't want to do collision line. 
Okay. There's gotta be an easy way to do this. I just can't do this thing. I don't know. What the fuck? So. I could also. Hmm. No, that's not gonna work. I did this once in some other project I was working on. Because right now, the, basically what's triggering the wind condition, I'll show you guys. Hell yeah, Joe, we'll see you again soon. What's triggering the wind condition is a collision. So, if, imagine that there's like a little square around the fart guy and there's a little square around the head. You can't see them, but as soon as those two things collide, it triggers the wind condition. <laughs> what I want to happen is, I have to write some logic for the, so that if I'm just right here. Um, hold up, hold up, hold up, actually. I think I might have an idea. Um, So I could say if my exposition hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Switch this to top left. I hope it doesn't fuck anything up. It might a little bit. Let me just see if that changed anything. Collisions are still working the same. Okay. Now if I go... Let's try this. Um, if... So if my x position is equal to, okay, so first let's say if instance exists, j target. If my x position is equal to, uh, let's try this. Every end, er, sorry, every level is gonna have a target. So we're gonna store that one. Okay, so if x equals targets x and my y equals target y plus So right, right now I'm saying if my, the X positions line up and then if the Y position is the target's Y position plus the height of the image, then we trigger the wind condition. Um, let's see if this works with um, sniff equals true. That's just a Boolean variable that basically says sniff. See if this works. I'm gonna remove this code. Let's see. Let's see if this works. <laughs> I can't get over the sound effects. Oops. Need some scissors. Whoops. X Y. <laughs> yeah, it's just a game about farts. Okay, let's see if this works. No, still doesn't work. Hmm. If X is target X and Y is target Y, plus Y. Um. Let's see, let's see, I'm gonna rewrite this and see 
maybe if we're within one pixel, so let's do this. If we're within one pixel on either side, maybe that'll work. So if y equals target y. See if this works. Sorry, I'm missing the missing the chat here. <laughs> Hell yeah, <Lord. laughs> I'm glad. I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea, but for me, it's it really. I love it. Okay, it's still not working. I'm gonna try plus two. Let's just see. Something wrong in my logic here. <laughs> Getting back to work. Happy wish. No worries. I appreciate the lurk. Spyro's good, I love Spyro. I miss Spyro. Still not working, okay. Why isn't that working? X This is target X. <sighs> the problem is I need to add like some variability in there. So, um, okay, so if X is target X or So if we're within one pixel, it should trigger this next part, and then we'll do the same thing. So, let's try this again. Charlie said, "Be nice to you." I don't listen to Charlie. <laughs> yeah, totally. I would like if I could go back to university and do it all over again. I think I would take computer science. No, it's still not working. Okay, so something. Something still. Okay, so let me think about this. I don't want there to be an actual collision. I just want to check the position. I just want the nose to be directly under, or if the fart is directly underneath the nose. I think I need to look at these um, sprites again here. Put the collision mask. Collision mask shouldn't have anything to do with it, though. Um, I'm not sure if there's a way to check, like, plus or minus X number of pixels. I'm sure there is. I just have to write that equation. I don't really know exactly how to how to do that. Making you want to learn it and do one, do it. It's super fun. It's super fun. It's called the King of Farts. Hell yeah! Tell him we say hi. Have a wonderful day, Lisa. Thanks for tuning in. Gave you an idea. What's the idea? Okay. I did this once in a different project. I had it checking. Like a, I just don't want it to trigger. I don't want it to trigger like when the guy like. I want the fart. I feel like it looks weird if the fart's like here and then it triggers the wind condition. You know what I mean? Um. Well, you know what? I just had an idea. Um. 
I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try and make a new object. So instead of having the body be an asset, so the difference between an asset and an object, an asset is just like a piece of, it's just an image. So right now this body of this little guy is an asset, which means there's no, there's, you can never attach code to an asset. It's just an image. So I can't like check its location or do anything like that. It just sits there in the game. So what I'm gonna try and do is turn this into an object. And then I'm just gonna say if the fart is in line with this object, no collision or anything, but just if it lines up with this object, then trigger the win condition. So let's try that. So I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna make a new object. And I gotta I gotta go through and like organize this project because it's just a mess. Let's go over J body. Sprite is gonna be body. Okay, and then we're gonna go into this room, we're gonna go here, we're gonna add this body object. Okay, now let's go back here. I'm just gonna say if x equals okay, um first we'll do a instance exists check just because this is a good thing to do. You always want the you don't want to write code for something that might not exist in the game. If for some reason there's no body in there, it'll throw an error. So first we're just going to make sure that that exists. And then also it won't run the code if there isn't one. So it's just a little more efficient. Um, body. If x equals jbody.x and y equals jbody.y. Oops. Saying if the x position and y position line up with instance nearest sniff is true. Whoops. Speed, horizontal and vertical speed set to zero, take away the player player control. And we'll see if that works. Let's see. I know we're saying tech words. Yeah, I know. Fart sound on the banjee bit? I was, I was thinking that. I think that'd be awesome. I'll look into that, Jamie. Still nothing. Why is this? Okay. Um, why the fuck isn't this working? Let me check my body sprite and make sure that's top left. Okay, so let's say instead, if X is OBJ body X or X is Minus a pixel or x is by the x plus a pixel. So I don't just want the x though. Um, we'll say if y equals obj body dot. Same level, but we could do plus or minus one as well. So let's go here. Y minus one, four, y minus one, four, y equals body y plus one. Take all this over. Okay, I'm gonna try this, but I have a feeling it's not gonna work. I'm doing something wrong, and I can't. I can't figure out what the hell it is. So I'm definitely lined up with the body right now. And it's just not triggering. It's not triggering that one condition. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I have no idea how to do this. 
You have 12 fingers? Fuck yeah. <laughs> you actually have 12 fingers? Do you have an extra finger on each hand? <laughs> okay, what the hell? Um, I'm gonna do a little Google search here. So, Rectangle in rectangle. Okay, there is a rectangle in rectangle function. So let me think about this. Um, okay, let's go here. Let's make this rectangle small. Okay, so this function will check two rectangular areas that define, see if the source rectangle is either not in collision completely within the destination rectangle bound, so that's what we want, or if they're essentially touching. We'll turn one, okay, so. Okay, now we need to access the collision masks, because I don't want to actually do the sprite heights, I need to do the collision masks. Function will tell you whether the object checked has a mask index or not. Okay, no, that's not what I want. Does the body exist as an entity in the world? Like maybe there's only the texture displaying. Yeah, I just made it as an entity in the world. It was just the image at first, um, but now it's the now it's an entity. So spread collision mask. Here's what we need. So what does this do? This function, you can set the properties. I don't want to set them though, I just want to get them. So how do I reference? So game to do reference collision mask. There's gotta be a function. These collision masks. Hmm. Fuck, this is tricky. This is way trickier than I expected it was going to be. I don't have any snacks with me, sorry, Sentry. Awesome, thanks. Thanks, Laura. Jen, welcome back. Oh, man. Okay. I'm gonna try this rectangle and rectangle. We'll just see what see what happens here. I'm gonna use that function. So if whoops, in rectangle. Let me read how this works here. And the source rectangle. So the source rectangle is gonna be the uh, body. Okay, so do this again, card, this instance nearest. Oh wait, no, we want to do body. Alright, if rectangle. Okay, so the source rectangle is the one that we want, so it's gonna be targ. 
Oh, I see. I see how to do this. Okay. Um, okay, this is going to be a little bit weird, but I think I, I think I might know how to do this. Fiona, you're out of here. Heck yeah. Uh, how many hours from now? It'll be. It's one thirty. Two thirty. Uh, eight. Just under eight hours from now. Fiona. Can you understand the timing? Um, you'll uh, you'll get it. You'll get it. I'll send the eat, but you're not hungry. <laughs> you got a real. You're in a real conundrum there. Okay, so okay, we're gonna have to make some other variables here. So um, so I'm gonna say target x one equals. Exposition plus <laughs> this is gonna be so fucking weird. I want I basically want to make that the, the, the body's collision mask smaller. So um, X plus let's say one third plus so. So Y1 is going to have to be, oh my god, this is like frying my fucking brain right now. Um, <clears throat> Um, and then I'm going to say, okay, so source x1 is going to be targ x1, source y1 is going to be targ y1, source x2 is going to be targ x2, source y2 is going to be targ y2. And then destination is going to be, so x1 and y1 is going to be my x and my y, and then it's going to be x plus sprite height. Oh, I just realized I made a mistake there. Um, and y plus, oops, sprite height, and this one should be sprite width. Object gets spread. That's what it is. Object gets spread. Object gets spread. Um, and this is going to be. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, no, we don't want to do that. I'm going to do this. No, that's not going to work. Um, Is there a get sprite height? Mm, I'm get sprite. What is this 
functional view. Sorry, I know I'm missing the chat here. Functional will tell you where the object has a sprite or not. Turn the index of that sprite. So that's the sprite I want to be checking against. Um, let's give my sprite index. I'm gonna try this and see if it works, but it might not. Um, okay, so if rectangle and rectangle here equals one, which is gonna be with, okay, and then we'll go here and see the nearest direction to say with turn. See if this works. It's probably not going to. It's probably not going to work, but let's try. <laughs> that was a squeaker, that one. Yes! Okay, so it took the control away, but it didn't actually trigger the. So something went wrong there. Um... Ah, yes, I know why. So here we need to go with instance nearest. It's not perfectly lined up underneath, but it's it's pretty good. It'll work. We can even make it smaller. We could say quarter. There we go. Boom. Yes, it worked. Mm. Latula de Cheshire, what is going on? Okay, so unable to find index. Oh yeah, because I don't have a body object in there. Okay, sweet. So this actually freaking worked. Amazing. So I need to make some notes so I know what I'm doing here. So find body object. You don't need this. And we're gonna say um, create rectangle one third size and position of body sprite. And then if That rectangle is within player's uh, sprite trigger wing condition. Boom. All right. That worked. Sweet. All right. Fuck, that's the best feeling. I love that feeling. Latula, how are you doing? Looks like I'm in a cupboard. I am. I'm under the stairs. <laughs> Excuse me. You do programming, Sarah Bell? What kind of programming do you do? The uh, the feeling of um, like working through it and then getting it to actually work is such a good such a good feeling. I fucking love it. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go to these rooms and remove these body images. And actually, I can remove this asset layer too for now. I need it. Object to each of these rooms. There we go. Okay, let's make sure this all works. Farts and burps during the massage. <laughs> That's hilarious, Dars. <laughs> You're doing great today, Jan. <laughs> Atlanta, hell yeah. It's not super, super hot here today. God, that's a good feeling when you figure something out. Okay, so here. Mmm. <laughs> War flashback. See, I love programming, but I totally get that it's not everybody's cup of tea. Mmm. 
So we could make it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna make that box a little bit smaller. Oh, I, I just learned something else. Um, I need to adjust that camera so that it starts following the butt and then switches to the play. See, this is, this is, I don't understand. So, this might not make a ton of sense, but I set up the jump so that you can jump slightly after falling off the, the edge. And this is something that almost every platformer game does. Um, because it feels very unfair to the player if you have to be colliding with the edge of a, of a floor or a wall in order to um, in order to trigger like the in order to be able to jump. So what a lot of programmers will do is like what I have it set to is, is I think five frames. So five frames after I leave the the edge of this thing, I can still jump. You see that? And now, the same thing should be true for when I'm coming off the walls, but it's not. Like, as soon as I come up, well, yeah, maybe it kind of is, I don't know. The wall jumping just feels weird to me. But also, you know what, the wall jumping in Super Metroid is really tricky, but once you get it, it feels good, so maybe I just need to... It feels like... It does feel a little bit just like... I can see, I can see people playing this getting frustrated with it, because it does feel a little bit unfair. But... <laughs> he enjoyed that part. <laughs> I don't have any snacks with me, Kali, I'm sorry. Mickey with the sub, hell yeah, four month gang. Let's go, Mickey, how are you doing? Cool, okay. <laughs> That's working, so whoops, let me, um... I'm gonna make that little box that we're checking for just a little bit smaller. We're gonna make it a quarter of the size. So he'll just be a little bit more directly underneath the nose. Okay, uh, let's just see how that looks. Heck yeah, primary sub. Exactly, it's a little bit of a buffer for the jump. Otherwise, because basically I the original code that I had was just saying you can only jump if you're on the if you're on the ground, basically. So he's constantly checking to see if the ground is below him. And if he's not, it doesn't allow you to jump. But what, you know, like I said, what a lot of programmers do is, so I can still jump after I fall off that ledge, if that makes sense, for five frames. And I might even have it set for a little bit too long, to be honest. Actually, that seems... Hmm, there's something weird there. Um... I think I know what's happening actually. Uh, jump calculation. So I have this, I have a jumps left variable. So I just need to say that if I'm not, okay, so. Jumps are weird. A lot of jump up to three frames after being a jump. Jump, jump time is weird. So jumps left is weird. Yeah. Then I'm going to say if, um, say if not on ground. And jump timer is greater than five. Jump left minus equals one. Let's see if this does. That this actually might explain why the wall is acting weird too. Good, good, good. Okay, so now, I should, five frames after, yeah, but if I leave it more than five frames, okay, good. There we go, fix that. Okay, we'll fix that. So don't, I'm just gonna say remove, jumps left, if, for more than five frames. Cool. That works. Uh, it is 1.48 p.m. You like a little fart? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Farts flowing so easily. Yeah, he's got some nice movement. I'm actually really proud of my, my movement calculations. So he, 
he like slowly accelerates to the top speed and then if you let go he slowly decelerates so it doesn't just he doesn't just start moving at the top speed and then stop it um, so that's what all this that's what all this is here I feel pretty uh, pretty proud of that it took me a long time I was on the plane ride back from Europe last time fucking around with this and it took me forever to write this write this equation but it works 1.48 p.m., yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks, Nikki. <laughs> it feels good when you actually get the shit to do what you want it to do. And another thing I'm proud of, too, is that um, when you add the boost, so when you hold Y and he adds the boost, it doesn't. It does the same thing. So he'll slowly accelerate up to the boost, and then if you let go of the boost button, he'll slowly decelerate down to the other speed, which doesn't sound like much, but... It was tricky. It was tricky to make it work, especially for me, because I'm, again, I'm not a professional here. Okay, um... Cool, so why don't we just, should we try and make another level? I gotta go, I have sound check in 10 minutes, so... Actually, maybe we should just leave it there for today. We'll do it, go do a quick raid. And then next time we do fart game, we can start making some more levels and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's got a little bit of that ice feel. Should be there within 12 minutes. The flowers? Pat Patterson should have Twitch Bushy Doors, Danny. Awesome. You enjoy this? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I can do that for sure. I can do that. Okay, guys, that was awesome. Um, thank you for that stream. I've been really excited about this lately. So hopefully we'll do more um, more fart game streams soon. Thanks, Sarah Bell. Thank you, thank you. Diane, I will not see you tonight. That was fun. That was super hype start, that which I did not expect. And uh, yeah, and got a little bit of work done. Feels good. Feels good. All right, let's see who's online. We can go raid somebody here. Jeebus is on Magic Lunchbox. Let's see. I don't know if we've ever raided Magic Lunchbox. Let's see what he's doing. So I was watching Maisel on Prime oh, Video, I'm not and one comedian gotta... led to another. <laughs> Wait for this annoying ad to end. Hell yeah! Thank you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Happy Friday the thirteenth. Oh yeah. So I, I'll stream the show again tonight. Um, still no raid points. Yeah, that's just some Twitch bug, I think. Another ad. Jesus Christ. Um. Yeah, the link worked and everything, Salty Omen. So 9, 10 p.m. Eastern, we'll, uh, we'll uh, stream, stream the show. Uh, yes, pop into our Discord, uh, friends. No, we'll do, uh, yeah, we'll do a raid. Let's. I just want to see what Magic Lunchbox is up to. I don't think I've ever raided Magic Lunchbox, but I've seen him in other streams. Looks like he's playing some there racing games. Go. So let's go say hi to him. That's how you... Uh, Jamie's got the raid message there. New friends, pop into our Discord. That's where we hang out. If you're interested in keeping up with the stream, that's the place to be. Um, all right, guys, that was awesome. Thank you. Oh, actually, before I go, before I forget, I just want to reset this, uh, reset this widget here. Give me a sec. So what are we at? We're at plus eight. Okay, awesome. Guys, that was super fun. Thank you once again. And let's go say hi to Magic Lunchbox. Everyone give him a follow. Copy that raid message. 9 p.m. Eastern Showtime. Uh, I'll post about that in the Discord and on my social media and shit. And yeah, Latula, nice to meet you. Hopefully we'll see you again. And yeah, everyone have a great rest of your day. Let's go say hi to Magic Lunchbox. See you later.
Congratulations. Colton Crawford. What's up, everybody? Welcome. Welcome. Nikki. Thank you for the follows. Bloat. Spent. 